It's Hobbit, and this past week we had a training meeting, in-person training meeting, our first one in forever. And I was kind of thinking about the things that came up in the training meeting. One of the, one of the really big questions has to do with the early start, and it has to do with people who are on the bubble. They either finish, they finish around six hours, or their last race was a little over six hours and they're trying to do better for this race that's coming up and they're really concerned about do I get an early start or not? Do I ask for an early start? My thinking on that is if you are on the bubble, one of those people that you finish in about six hours if you've done races before or you finish in a little over six hours or if you're brand new and you don't know what's going to happen because this is your first marathon, I would look at realistically what my training is or what my past races were. If you think you're going to need the early start, request the early start. I do the approvals for the early starts and if, and I will email you like if you're a new person, I will say, okay, what are you training at? The thing that we can do, even if I approve your early start, if during training in your longer mileages you find, well, you know, I'm a little faster than I thought I was going to be. I'm going to finish under six hours, probably 10, 15 minutes. I don't need that early start. All you have to do is email me and my email is all over the place on the website. It's under the registration, it's under training. It's on the screen. It's on the screen, <laughs> Kevin says it's on the screen. So all you need to do is email me and say, change me to the regular start, and I can do that. I can do that up till online registration closes on February the 21st, 2025. So you should have several long mileages, including your 20 miler, under your belt before you really have to say, Hobbit, I don't need that. Just something to think about.